Hey, what's up, guys? So, welcome to Galactic Experiment number three. So, this time we're going to do something you guys requested a lot last time, which is the question whether it's better to stack many short frames or to stack less longer frames. So, we're going to be doing the same thing with like each of these stacks. We're going to do it at one hour intervals with shorter intervals in between. So, it'll be like Three, three seconds, 60 times, and so on, and see which one produces a better quality after you stack and process. So we used the Raptor 61 with the ASI 71MC and the Triad filter, Triad Ultra, and uh, ASI Air earlier to capture four hours straight of data on the Rosette Nebula. And we have four stacks right now, so all four are uh, all one hour long, and we're going to go over them right now and zoom in and compare them, see what's best. Uh, by the way, we have no idea, so we'll find out with you. I know, we're <laughs> doing this live! Before we start, we realized afterward that the experiment might not be very accurate because we used the automatic stretch for each image. So our friend Patrick, who is super awesome, helped us analyze the data way more in depth. And so we added all the information, including screenshots and some numbers, on our website. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. And his comparison is probably the best uh, possible way to compare these images. So here are the four frames. So the first one is 60 seconds times uh, 60, I believe, for one hour. So we're going to open this right now on Pixie the site. And Gotta break out the glasses because I can't yeah. see. And see what it looks like. So here is the Rosette Nebula one hour from home by the way, so ball or nine. Uh, and by the way, there is no darks and no flats, so this is just pure lights. And uh, yeah, so so we have... Um, so what are some key observations we can make, obviously, of the rosette itself? Looks nice to me, I mean, 60 seconds times 60, so one hour. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good to me. I mean, the colors and all. We don't really care about the, the colors being off because this is all like DBE processing stuff, it's fine. This will be done later. But, but um, for what we see, you know, stars are pretty round, so that's good. We see a lot of the nebulosity and also a lot of the darker spots as well. I think it's pretty good, yeah. So this is one hour uh, of 60 seconds exposures. Um, pretty good. So let's go over and uh, open up the let's next one. So the next one is 120 seconds, so it's 30 times 2 minutes, and we'll see there's a difference. I suspect there will be not much of a difference between the, between the two, because uh, it's mostly the same thing, pretty much. It's like going to the eye doctor. Number one or number two? Number one, number two. So here, so at first glance there is like zero difference, at first glance. Wait, which one is which? See? <laughs> Left is 60 seconds, right 60 is seconds. 120 seconds. I don't know, I feel like there's... There's a difference. There's yeah. a slight difference. I, I feel like no. a lot of the HA is coming through a lot better. On a s 120 uh, seconds, right? 120 seconds? You feel like this one is better? Yeah, I feel like the one we just pulled up is a lot better. Me too, because look here. I see, I see a lot, yeah, I see a lot of, a lot more defining features that I didn't see in the first one. And you know, now that I have both of them up, I can see where they're yeah. kind of trying to come through in the first one, the 60 seconds in one hour, like once for the whole hour, like there, there is definitely a difference. Definitely this one's better on Crisper, the right. Yeah. But I think... It's brighter too. Yeah, it is brighter. On the left side, am I crazy or is like the stars kind of ovally on number two? No, I mean the whole... No, it should be, it should be fine because... No, the, on the side. I mean, oh. Like right there where those bright stars are. Yeah. Yeah, but this is just because it's back focus, I guess. Okay. It's no big deal. We're just focusing on the, on the nebula here. And in terms of noise, they're both... A Mm, less worse. Uh, less worse on number two. Yeah, this one is more red here, so the H shape pops out more here. So it hides a bit of nose, I guess. Alright, so this was the first comparison, one and two, so 60 seconds and 120 seconds. Definitely much bigger difference too. Alright, so now it's going to be interesting. We're jumping to 300 and well, 300 seconds, which is five minutes, right? <laughs> Six minutes. Not. No. Five, five minutes. minutes. So five yeah. minutes times 20 is one hour, right? Yes. So this is 20 times five minutes. Ooh, much more red. Let's see. 
Okay, so here at first glance, compared to let's oh yeah, let's go with this one. No, it's not. It's thirty. Twenty times three. <laughs> Twenty times three. It's it was one hour. Well, either way, it's five minutes for <laughs> hour. So this is much more red. Like it's losing some of its paleness in the center here, which is strange to me. I guess the, the fainter HA is more relevant. I don't know. Like I like here because number here's two a has a lot more defined features, but number three, I feel like the color is better. Yeah, the color is is more prominent here, but, but I do less like crisp. But I do like the difference between the white here and the red here. I feel like here processing this would be hard because you wouldn't be able to bring out the blues inside, whereas here you could easily bring out the blues here. And also the trail on the bottom. Oh yeah, the trail here. is is not as visible. It is more red, I feel, but it is not as visible. And the noise is better though. True. All right, so the noise is better. The colors, I guess, are better in a way. I guess it depends on the object, but for me, I prefer the colors here. Number two is still pretty good. Okay, so we have one, two, three. So confusing. Uh, the last one is 900 seconds, guys. So it's 15 minutes. We were like, please, no wind, no wind, because one image is 15 minutes. So one speck that of wind. That is a lot of time to collect data and not have something go horribly wrong. So one speck of wind and the guiding is off. But luckily, it was a very small so telescope. One, one so. breeze of like. Yeah. One tiny breeze. All right, so let's open up the last one here. Well, it certainly is much more different than number three. Oh for yeah, sure. so strange. The, a lot of the red got picked up on the right side, and I noticed no, in the other. I know, I know, I noticed in the other ones, like there's oh, a lot yeah. of like bluey stuff in the middle or the top, but there's more. I see a lot more of the red within this image, around. Okay, for me, for me, the colors here are perfect. There is red on the outer edge, and white slash bluish pale blue on the on the center, which for me is perfect. If we compare, let's compare those two here. Let's compare 60 seconds times 60 and 15 minutes times 4. So again, we see a lot of that from number one, like a lot of it coming through really nice still, very like dainty, gentle. Whereas this one, it, we've collected a lot of photons. Like this is brighter, okay? Much brighter. Like that, mm -hmm. this is brighter. And this here is there is more contrast, I guess, in a way. But the color, look at this is like for example, this filament here is more visible here. This is kind of washed out here. So, if we had to conclude here, and the noise is, oh, it's weird because this one the noise was like really good. Yeah. So there is more noise here actually because yeah, there it's is normal. more. There is more noise in the fifteen minute one. Because if you only have four images, the noise is gonna be crazy. Yeah. But um. If we had to pick one between 60 times 60 seconds and 4 times 15, we would pick 4 times... I would pick 4 times 15. The noise is bad, but if you, you know, keep stacking more and more, then it's fine. But look at those details, look at those, this brightness. Right, I love right. it. Very cool. Yeah, so this was um, pretty much it, guys. We just wanted to show you guys the difference between the four uh, exposure times. So all four of these are one hour long. And um, for me, they all look great. And actually, you might want to stack all four just together, just for the fun of it. Like a composite? Just to see what would result out of it. But anyway, um, so this was the galactic experiment number three. Do you want to add anything about this? Or, I mean, I think we covered everything, so... Well, I don't think we really addressed the question, is it better to do long exposures or short exposures? True. So me, I would say, I guess it depends on the target, but for me, if you plan to do I, I, I mean, I would say just in this case, but maybe in all, you know, a rule of thumbs. I mean, in this case for the rosette, which one would you have chosen? Assuming you would do more than one hour, so you would do like a full night on it, I would pick the 15 minutes one. Because the 15 minutes one right now, the only downside is the noise. But if you stack, you know, 20 frames, so a full night of it, uh, eight hours long, I believe it will be the best. Well, what would be the caveat to that? Because I assume if something were to go wrong, there's like a flash of light. Yeah, that it's whole, risky. That whole like set of data is essentially just going to be... I would say between 5 and 10 minutes would be safer. Like compared to the other ones, like I don't know, number 2 was really crisp. You would think the one that was at a longer exposure would have like, you know, 
more finer details, more like more of a number two than a number three. Yeah, it's, it's already a hot pick here, but you know what, you guys tell us what you would pick. Mm, I'm guessing it depends on how bright your object is and how many hours total you're going to have, but um, if it were me, I would pick the longest one here, assuming the mount is fine and there is no wind or whatever. And your alternative? If I had no choice, I would pick five minutes. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's all red and there is no white color because maybe stacking settings, I don't know. That's weird, but um, maybe this one actually. So like two, cool. two minute intervals. Yeah, two minutes is pretty good too. Just noisy, but I guess if you stack more, it's fine too. Right, and you'll have the opportunity if you were going to do it in one hour to have more, so more to stack. Yeah, okay. Very interesting, very thought provoking, you know. And of course, everybody kind of does it their own way, but you know, once, once you find your own groove, if you're just like, I think three minutes is my sweet spot, like, that's that's on you, man. That's that's what works for you. For some people, they rely on the safety of shorter intervals, but stacking a lot bigger really yeah. depends. Kind of like you know when you're processing, you have your own style. Yeah, we do five to ten minutes now usually. But anyway, this was a short video, guys. Uh, so let us know what you would pick, and also let us know if you would like to see a different experiment in the future. You know, those short videos like that, just to find out you know interesting answers to some questions. Anyway, so we'll see you guys next time and kiss guys. guys.